Let, let's conclude this interview with uh, a question that, I mean, coming back to the times, the corona times, I mean, everyone is giving, everyone is giving whatever they can to help the crisis. Mm. Is the Zoe Fellowship thinking of, you know, giving I'm back, done, giving back to, you know, to help during the situation of the coronavirus pandemic? Yeah, that's something that actually I would have done until uh, someone sent me the list of some of those people that were handling it. And, uh, and then I looked and I saw, hmm, some of the names I told you to investigate and you'll find. <laughs> so I looked and said, hmm, how will they twist this if I really try to mean well and, and do something for, you know, how will, they? you see, that is the, that's the hindrance that I face, there's a lot we want to do. The spirit of giving, I mean, you just. I am telling you, it goes again with the principle of Jesus, casting your pearls before swine. So they will just take it and make it something. You, you again, I'll leave you with this, you've left me something, I'll leave you with this. Eh? You try to find out what really goes on behind uh, this whole hostility about Zoe Fellowship Ministries. Who are the people, why, why they are doing it? You will know why sometimes, you know, we take our time, you know, we watch, in the, the, way we, the things that we do, they're trying to, you know, blackmail, they're trying to do all kinds of things to us. So, I really would want to, but then again you look and see, and say, I, I wish it was done differently. How would I do it? And again, the president came and said, you know, uh, you know, this is a committee. You can't do it anywhere else but through this, you know. Really and then you look and say, oh, okay, you know. So we, I face a lot of things. And you will understand if you, if you well, did you that. Do that. And again, there's a lot I can say to you. All I would say to you, but uh, I'm, I'm even cautious of, of, of speaking now. And I'm picking, choosing, uh, but I can only tell you that the tide has changed, you know. Uh, goodness is coming back, you know, it is coming back. And uh, how we will adjust ourselves uh, towards, uh, you know, the flow of all things, you know, who will be our friends, who will be our relations, who, we, who shall we hear most? Because you see, in everything that is happening, it's, there's, a, there's a spiritual battle taking place. Um, do you listen to, let's say, do you hook yourself to the flow of, let's say, this leader here, let's say Trump, the angle he has chosen to take about you know, dealing with this thing, is he on the same wavelength as what God is saying? Or do we choose to take, let's say, what Bill Gates is saying about the whole thing? Because I can assure you that uh, uh, in all these things, you will find light and darkness behind them. You see, but and what the nation chooses to attach itself to is what eventually will cover. It's like sailing over your soul eh? to either God or the devil is what eventually will cover. I know what we should do. I know the, the, the connections we should make. I know what we should break off. But again, I can't do that because, you know, yeah, we would just need to pray. I yeah, keep praying for the nation and keep praying for the leadership. But I know that, uh, uh, you know, that we are still the restraining power. I'm talking about uh, the people of God and uh, evil will not prevail. It will not prevail. It will get back to good. Prophet Elvis Simboni, thank you so much for speaking to us. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Thank you.